Hi guys and ladies, it's late May here in Ohio, which always means that the bluegill are spawning. You see, they make beds close to the shore to lay their eggs, and it means the fish are easy to find and easy to catch. At this time of the year, they're scrappy. They'll attack a lure thrown on their beds. So let's see if we could take advantage of their instinct. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's try this. This is a two inch beaver tail smelly jelly. You see my friend Chris of Muddy River Catfishing sent me these despite my protests. So let's give them a try on bluegill. They look so irresistible, I feel like eating them myself. Check the notes below for all the info on the lures, my equipment, and this lake. Now let's get fishing. <laughs> Look at that. You know what? Today we're not keeping them. No, no need to. Only when we need food. Otherwise, we throw them back to live another day. This guy's almost nine inches. Okay, it's a nice one. Looks like a male. They're dark. It's fun. They fight hard. Time to let them go. <laughs> All right, kind of small, but who cares today? It's fun. Pretty nice. I think there's a spawning bed over here. <laughs> Immediately. Wow. Whoa. Oh, a beauty. Oh, I love it. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, this is fun. <laughs> Look at that. If you're gonna take up fishing, I suggest you do it in the springtime when the bluegill are spawning. <laughs> They're more aggressive, more, more scrappy. Look at that. Look at, oh, how nice. Yes. Nine inches. There's spawning beds over here. Whoa. Yes, another nice one. Oh, I'm so happy. I think this weekend I'll take a young person to go fishing with me. Who wouldn't love to learn fishing this way? Oh my goodness, yes. This one is a giant. Nine inches. You all know my dear friend, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Well, she said she has students over at the Culinary Arts Institute. 
and they would love to fish with me. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! Very prettily colored. Prettily colored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I kind of thought there was a spawning bed uh, in there. Another fish, all right. Nice bluegill, little. A beaver tail, smelly jelly. Who thinks of these names? Well, thank you. It's from my friend Chris over at Muddy River Catfishing. <laughs> I appreciate it. But don't send any more because I've got more stuff than I could use in my lifetime. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. That's enough. This ends the day. Look at the size. Mm, nice crappie. Eh, 12 and 3 quarters inches. Thanks everyone for joining me on the lake. We had a lot of fun today. <laughs> you go. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> Okay, turn around. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what is another bass? <laughs> well, here we are fishing with a student of Miss Cheeks, and this is uh, Miss uh, Ruby Cheeks. Uh, could you turn around, dear? <laughs> Say hi. And hi. What did you do? Did you catch a fish? Yeah. Let's see it. Hold that rock. Oh, you you got a bass. Mm -hmm. Very good. I, I love taking the young people out, and a student of Miss Cheeks is always welcome. <laughs> um, Miss uh, Ruby, uh, do I remind you of your grandpa? No. Why not? Because my grandpa is good looking. I see you're a good student of Miss Cheeks. Mm -hmm.